Yeah, we're, uh, you know, beginning finals on this Friday. We had uh, our workouts were last week. It's the only week we did workouts during the spring because uh, season, you know, obviously went a little later with being in the tournament this year. And I always give them, you know, three weeks off from basketball because I think it's good. We had a good uh, week this last week uh, in the gym. Unfortunately, Abdul uh, sustained an injury to his shoulder that will require surgery. Uh, he has a torn labrum in his right shoulder, and he'll be out uh, rehabbing from that and going through this whole process till probably right about when we're ready to start practices when he'll be cleared for full contact, which is October 1st. So um, he should be, uh, you know, so it's, all, it's a serious deal and um, you know, it's cartilage in your shoulder, the labrum. And so uh, Dr. Jones will repair that and we'll go from there. Term, term, let me just answer some questions for you. you. You get to them and that way uh, they'll, they'll be done. Uh, <clears throat> Reggie Perry uh, is, uh, you know, obviously put his name in fully and so he's been going through the process now of uh, getting ready for some workouts with some teams. Uh, he's been working really hard, um, uh, both uh, in the weight room and in the gymnasium, uh, getting ready. He'll be going out to work out in a uh, with a workout group in Phoenix uh, next weekend, and uh, you know after uh, this next weekend after finals are done, uh, and uh, I think he's got yeah he's he's got a couple uh, to do, and and then he'll be heading out and. Uh, Preparing for that, he has till May 29th to make a decision whether or not he returns to school or leaves his name in for the actual draft, which is in late June. I think it's the 25th. Um, and um, you know, we're um, just waiting to see what will occur, and you know, wishing him nothing but the best in his workouts and his opportunity to to uh, you know go to some of these NBA teams and visit with them. Uh, Knicks. Uh, status has not changed. Nick worked out with our team. He lifted with our guys. Uh, you know, I fully expect Nick to be uh, our starting point guard next year. And, uh, you know, I'm excited about that. And um, so he, he's, you know, the same status as it was when we finished the season. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anybody else that you'd be asking me about. Lamar. Lamar is uh, signed with an agent. It's in Chicago working out with. Uh, Getting ready for some workouts, which he has lined up. He's got, a, I think, three or four of them lined up already, and he will not be returning. He'll be staying in and, uh, you know, trying to pursue his career as a pro. Q and Eric from this past weekend. Yeah, Q uh, and Eric both played in the uh, Portsmouth tournament, which is a really, you know, good thing. Uh, only seniors are invited to that. They graduated this past season, and. Uh, they both did well. Q did exceptionally well, actually. I got a number of calls from some NBA scouts uh, that were very impressed. And, um, you know, Eric put up some good numbers, especially in the last two games he played in. Um, but they uh, will uh, both be waiting here to see if either one of them is invited to Chicago. Uh, typically, the teams out of there vote, and that there's typically uh, a couple of players. From Portsmouth, they're invited to go to the pre-draft camp in Chicago. So that will come out here uh, towards the end of the week as to who were the in invitees. Every, every team has a vote uh, that was there watching and participating and evaluating uh, at Portsmouth. Questions? Besides Lamar and the seniors, um, after you had your exit meetings with the guys, you got a pretty good idea of who's returning and, and anybody else that may be leaving? Uh, nobody that I'm aware of, no. Uh, Jethro's leaving. back? Uh, no, Jet, uh, and I said, Jet's graduating, and Jethro will not be back. Gotcha. And Jethro didn't play second. Uh, and uh, so he will uh, graduate and uh, then be a uh, graduate transfer to go to somewhere. Touch base a little bit about uh, Elias and Devin and um, Iverson coming in here in the summer. Just – Obviously, you'll know more once you get them in practice and, and mm -hmm. realize what they can do. But what do you kind of expect out of that trio? Well, you know, not only those th three, but we also had the two that sat out. You know, DJ Stewart was very impressive during the year. You know, he had a stress reaction in his foot. Um, and so he missed about a month late in the season, which hurt us because we, you know, count on him to practice every day. 
But uh, I'm, I'm really excited for DJ. I think he's going to be a huge, uh, you know, talent for us moving forward. Love him as a kid. Uh, and when I think about back on this season, the best thing for the team would have been to not redshirt him, but we did not have foreseen that, you know, we were going to lose Nick for 10 games, the last 10 games of the season. Uh, but for him long term, the best thing was for him to redshirt. And uh, so uh, I'm excited for him. I think Prince is uh, going to be another kid that's going to battle for playing time. You know, really has done a good job with his body. He's improved his ability to shoot the jumper. Doesn't get to play a lot in practice because he didn't get, wasn't eligible to play in the games. We do a lot of five on five as we get into the season. But he's a good competitor, tough kid. His teammates love him. Uh, hard worker, has a motor. Uh, I think he can be a good player for us and just a sophomore. And then the three freshmen that you're asking about, you know, starting with uh, Iverson, uh, real good combo guard. I think he's going to be uh, someone that we count on to play minutes. Uh, as a freshman, just based on his body and his readiness when when I watched him play uh, in the summer. But he's going to have to come in and compete like everybody else for every minute. Uh, same thing with Elias. You know, Elias is a uh, king, very talented scorer, shooter, has length, can really shoot the three, very nice passer, handles the ball well, uh, has a lot of talent, a lot of ability, and, uh, you know, combined with length. Uh, you know, he's a kid that I think could, could really be something special uh, given time, and especially as he gets stronger. You know, both he and Butts are, are very good shooters. You know, Devin is a really good three-point shooter with excellent range. You know, you know you're, you're jumping from high school uh, to high major basketball. It's always a big jump, and so it'll be good for those guys to get here and start working with them in June, which is right around the corner. Uh, but especially getting them going in the weight room and getting them going with Colin, our strength coach, and uh, with our guys. I mean, both those kids uh, are going to help us. A lot. And, and I think, you know, Iverson's body is the most ready right now in terms of his strength. Go ahead, Mark. You mentioned Jethro going out as a grad transfer. Are you looking to bring in any grad transfers? And if so, what, what, what positions? You know, we, we, we will have uh, one scholarship right now uh, that we have available. Uh, and so uh, we're not, uh, you know, the, probably the, the most sought after player in the spring every year is the graduate transfer. And uh, there's a couple kids we talk to, and uh, we would ideally like to have a big, someone who is, a, you know, a ready made big, um, you know, but obviously a, a big key for us in terms of bigs is just what does Reggie end up doing? You know, if Reggie comes back, I think, you know, it makes us a whole lot better than if he stays in the draft. And that's something you know we have no control over. We just have to do a wait and see. But uh, we have two seniors. When you look at next year uh, in terms of EJ Datcher and, and uh, Tyson Carter, and uh, so that would give us two scholarships and this one would be third. So we maybe we hold it till, till then, we'll see. You know, it's just, we have 12 guys I know for sure that are on scholarship as of right now, okay? Along those same lines and, and not so much grad transfer, are you looking to add anybody in the spring signing period just from a high school or JUCO runs? Yeah, if you have someone for me, I'll, I'll love to talk to you after. And uh, uh, we'd like them to be really good, though, and, and a good kid. Uh, but, yeah, we're all, that's why we have that right now. I mean, we're waiting to see. And, and things – I mean, the portal has just been full of people transferring and um, – you know, so there's there's some guys out there. I actually talked about a, a kid today, but you know, we're uh, we're, we're going to be uh, you know smart about it. Just clarify, R Reggie is the only guy that you have that's going through the NBA draft process, or, or whatever. It's just Reggie. Uh, that's an underclassman. That's an underclass. Yes. Okay. Because just in terms of scheduling for next year, how much of that's set, and is there anything new on the agenda there? Uh, just that, you know, we have the tournament I know that we're set to go to in South Carolina. I believe it's Myrtle Beach, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I know that we've got uh, Villanova and Baylor and Utah and ourselves are in there, and I believe Middle Tennessee, Ohio University, Tulane, and there's Coastal Carolina. So that's the lineup in that. Uh, 
and then uh, we are in the Big 12 Challenge now, and so we'll find out here in the course of the next, you know, three to four weeks as to whether or not we're home or away. And my guess is that we'll be on the road in that. And then we're, you know, trying to fill a, a number of our, our other open dates, uh, you know, that with, with schools uh, at this time, killing potential neutral sites. Uh, we're going to try to play the game back in Jackson. We played the last four years. I always think that's good right before Christmas when we, we go up there because this place is shut down. And I think we get a, a good uh, core of supporters that are in Mississippi State people that come out for that game every year. So, um, you know, be typical of that. I mean, that tournament's going to be a good tournament to be in. The Big 12 Challenge gives us another high major and potentially a road game. Um, love to know sooner rather than later if we're on the road or at home and who we're playing, but it doesn't always work out that way. In, ter in terms of other scheduling stuff, uh, for the summer, what what's kind of the NCAA allotment for your guys' schedule? And when you said June, when are you? Yeah, we'll, we'll start, to... school starts June 2nd, uh, I believe, off the top of my head. Uh, and uh, it's either second or third. I don't have my calendar in front of me. Is it third? Yeah, so they return the second. We start classes on the third. It basically goes a month. We're, we're out the first week in uh, July, uh, and they have a week in between the two four-week summer sessions. And during those eight weeks that we'll have them, we get to work with them, you know, up to four hours a week on the floor and then another four in the weight room with our strength and conditioning coach. Uh, they're going to school, they're playing, they're doing a lot of working out. We had a great summer last summer, which I thought really helped us as we went into the year, you know, get off to a great start to our season because of, uh, you know, all the hard work that they put in extra on their own, uh, you know, led by our, our seniors. But, you know, they did a really good job, and that's what's going to take again this year. And all the freshmen will be here for that summer. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Some new faces will be headed to the SEC this year and then the coaching ranks. Just from your perspective, and you've been doing this for so long, is this as good a group of coaches overall in a conference as you've been around? I'll tell you, it's amazing. I mean, it just keeps uh, getting tougher and tougher. And uh, when you add, you know, Buzz and, you know, I mean, Nate Oates is a very good coach at Alabama. And obviously, Musselman's really done a nice job in his coaching career now at Arkansas and, and Stackhouse, uh, I think, brings a lot of credibility with his background. Uh, there's four new coaches in our league, and in our league is incredibly tough. So it's uh, this, this the CSCC, you know, win or hit the rug. <laughs> Anything else for Coach before we let him go? Huh? Go to this gentleman here in the back to wrap it up. Hi, Coach. Afternoon. Um, could you talk about uh, how Robert Woodard played for you in, in his first year, obviously his freshman year, and what you're kind of looking for him in, yeah, in his sophomore year? Yeah, we're looking for big year. things out of Robert. I mean, Robert, uh, I thought, really came on strong for us uh, the latter part of the year and, and kept getting better and better and better. And um, he, he's a player that uh, has a lot of uh, talent and is a great competitor and what I love about Robert, he's a great leader, too. I think he's a very good leader, but he really competes, plays with passion, plays with a lot of heart, a lot of toughness. I think he's improved his shooting quite a bit from when he first got here to now, and he's got to keep taking that extra step. And this, to me, is the biggest uh, year of improvement between your freshman year and the beginning of your sophomore year because now he's been through it. He knows what to expect. Uh, I think you'll see a big jump in him. And, you know, we expect big things out of Robert. I thought he had some very good games for us here late in the season. He made big shots. I mean, I was thinking about him today, you know. He had a big three at Georgia. That was a huge reason why we won at Georgia. He had a big shot or two big shots at Arkansas. He had two shots in a row at Oxford when we beat Ole Miss on the road. I mean, he made a lot of big shots, timely shots, late in game possessions. Uh, you know, he is a re really good rebounder. Uh, I think his greatest strength is his ability to rebound. and you know, I want him to be more aggressive driving, getting to the basket, because he finishes so well and he can get to the line. We want to, He should be one of the top two guys on our team next year in terms of getting fouled. And uh, so, you know, we, we have, you know, high hopes and, uh, you know, I have all the confidence in the world. Robert's going to be a really good player for us as a sophomore. And it seems like the individual workouts in the summer between the freshman and the sophomore year is a, is a 
really yeah, it's a really important time. And, uh, you know, because now he's seeing how it relates to what we're doing. So, yeah, it's been good.